So I'm just going to show you a really quick sample that I've made and all I've done is I've embossed with the silver sparkle and I've added some extra little glitz. Okay, so this is super easy, super quick. And Do you want to say hello? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm Josie from Daisy B Stamps. I'm the youngest of the three sisters, so you'll have probably seen me at shows and things. So, right, I'm going to start by inking up my well used well used butterfly. I think I've got about four on the go at the minute in different areas. So I'm just gonna ink up that matrix well inked. I've already cut a piece of black card. So I know that it should fit. So I'm just going to pump that on there. Just light pressure because I don't want my image to distort because I'm using such a wet ink. Okay. So stamp that out. And then just grab my... I've lost it. Hang on. Five. There we go. So I'm mm. just using the... Wow metallic silver sparkle which is really nice because as well as the strong silver it just has that extra little bit of glitter involved so I'm just going to sprinkle this on thank you from the helping hand no so I'm stuck with there because I haven't used a pad but it doesn't look too bad anyway and obviously an extra little bit of glitter never hurt anybody I'm just using a little paintbrush to wipe off the excess. I think it's just because it shows up more, doesn't it, on black? Yeah, it does, but I don't mind. Look how sparkly it is, even without embossing it yet. Right, so I'm just going to... That could have gone very wrong, but we're all good. So, I'm trying to emboss this really quick. I think we've done embossing on a YouTube as well. Uh, no, I don't think we have. I'm just waiting for it to turn, it should start going quite quick. You see how it's just turning now, it, it makes it even more... Metallic? Metallic, that's the word. There we go, all done. So, I'm just going to, now I've got my image, I'm just... I'm using these two glitters today, which is like a turquoise and like a wine colour, which I think are absolutely beautiful. So, I've just got my glue. Dries clear? Dries clear glue, yeah, it's your art glitter. It's really good and it just, it goes on really nice if you've got the fine nibs. So I'm not being precise, all I'm doing is dragging some lines across. So if I put them thicker it's a bit like it, you could do it with dots but I just like adding lines so that's all I'm doing is just dragging from this end that's it. and then I'm going to do the same on this flower and I'm literally just going over the bits where they're shaded because even the bits that will come it'll still show the silver through because the glue dries clear and it'll not It'll not pick up every bit. So just do that and I'm just going to add a couple of dots to the middle of the teeny tiny flowers. Okay, so I'm going to go with my turquoise first. Is it turquoise? Is it turquoise? Yeah, I think so. Aqua maybe. Aqua, that's quite a good one. So I'm just going in with my glitter. You can see how absolutely amazing that glitter is. It is just so sparkly. I'm pretty sure that is from Glitter Magic. 
Sharon, the lovely Sharon. So, if you see all I've done is just picked out them little bits there. And then, I'm just going to go along the other side, so down here. What it does is, because I'm on the other card I've used three glitters in between, I'm just going to show you the two at the minute. So it just creates a bit of like an ombre effect, a bit like a dip dye, because you're using the two glitters sort of like side by side. I'm not, I'm not being careful, I'm just picking out the lines of where they connect and just going round a little bit there. And then I'm just going to pick out this flower. And I'm not really squeezing my glue, I'm just dragging it, so a little bit at the base and then dragging it out. So it creates the thinness of the lines closer to the edge. I'm just going to pick this one out. That's it, and then I'm just going to get my other colour glitter. out of the bag how I want it but that's fine. So and then do the same again. I think you see all I've got is like just a subtle hint of glitter but it just adds the sparkle to it. Gorgeous. And then all I would do to finish that off piece of mirror card and then mount it but I would just put some silver mirror card underneath and mount it on a black card and I think it's just a super simple super quick if you're short for time it's a perfect card to make because it's really effective and you've literally spent no time on it just another way to use the butterfly on black card yeah beautiful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe